Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at NAT gateway and NAT instances. Network address translation or NAT is a method of remapping an IP address space into another, by modifying network address information in the IP header of packets, while they are in transit across a traffic routing device. It was originally used to avoid the need to assign a new address to every host, when a network was moved, or even the ISP was replaced. NAT has become a popular tool in conserving global IPv4 address space. NAT hides the source IP addresses of a private network. The hidden addresses are changed into a single public IP address, as the source address of the outgoing IP packets. So they appear as originating not from the hidden host, but from the routing device itself. One internet routable IP address of a NAT gateway can be used for an entire private network. You can use a NAT device to enable instances in a private subnet, to connect to the internet or other AWS services, but prevent the internet from initiating connections with the instances. A NAT device forwards traffic from the instances in the private subnet, to the internet or other AWS services, and then sends the response back to the instances. When traffic goes to the internet, the source IPv4 address is replaced with the NAT device's address, and similarly, when the response traffic goes to those instances, the NAT device translates the address back to those instances' private IPv4 addresses. AWS offers two types of NAT devices, NAT gateway or NAT instances. AWS recommends NAT gateways, as they provide better availability and bandwidth over NAT instances. The NAT gateway service is an AWS managed service, that does not require your administration efforts. Whereas a NAT instance is an EC2 instance launched from a NAT AMI. NAT devices are not supported for IPv6 traffic, you should use an egress only internet gateway instead. You can use a NAT gateway to enable instances in a private subnet to connect to the internet or other AWS services, but prevent the internet from initiating a connection with those instances. To create a NAT gateway, you must specify the public subnet in which the NAT gateway should reside. You must also specify an elastic IP address to associate with the NAT gateway when you create it. The elastic IP address cannot be changed after you associate it with the NAT gateway. After you've created a NAT gateway, you must update the route table associated with one or more of your private subnets, to point internet-bound traffic to the NAT gateway. This enables instances in your private subnets to communicate with the internet. Each NAT gateway is created in a specific availability zone and implemented with redundancy in that zone. If you have resources in multiple availability zones and they share one NAT gateway, and if the NAT gateway's availability zone is down, resources in the other availability zones lose internet access. To create an availability zone independent architecture, create a NAT gateway in each availability zone, and configure your routing to ensure that resources use the NAT gateway in the same availability zone. The route table of the private subnet sends internet traffic from the instances in the private subnet to the NAT gateway. The NAT gateway sends the traffic to the internet gateway, using the NAT gateway's elastic IP address as the source IP address. You are charged for creating and using a NAT gateway in your account. NAT gateway hourly usage and data processing rates apply. NAT gateways are not supported for IPv6 traffic. You should use an egress-only internet gateway for IPv6 instead. NAT instances are similar to NAT gateway. A NAT instance is a special EC2 instance configured to perform NAT. AWS provides Amazon Linux AMIs that are configured to run as NAT instances. You can launch a NAT instance from a NAT AMI. NAT instance must have the internet access. It must be in a public subnet, that has a route table with a route to the internet gateway. It must have a public IP address or an elastic IP address. You need to create a security group for your NAT instance, to enable the NAT instance to receive internet-bound traffic from instances in a private subnet, which enables the instances in the private subnet to initiate traffic to the internet, such as getting software updates. You must add a route to the route table of the private subnet, that sends all internet traffic to the NAT instance in the public subnet. The NAT instance then sends the traffic to the internet gateway for the VPC. The traffic is attributed to the elastic IP address of the NAT instance. The NAT instance specifies a high port number for the response. If a response comes back, the NAT instance sends it to the instance in the private subnet based on the port number for the response. By default, each EC2 instance performs the source destination checks. This means that the instance must be either source or destination of any traffic it sends or receives. However, a NAT instance must be able to send and receive traffic, where the source or destination is not itself. 
Therefore, you must disable the source destination checks on the NAT instance. NAT instances are not supported for IPv6 traffic. You should use an egress-only internet gateway for IPv6 instead. In most cases, you should always choose NAT gateway over NAT instances. NAT gateway is a fully managed AWS service. You don't need to perform any maintenance. NAT instances are managed by AWS customers. Just like with any EC2 instance, you need to perform maintenance, such as installing software updates, or operating system patches on the instance. NAT Gateway is an AWS managed service. Both hardware and software of NAT Gateway are optimized for handling NAT traffic at scale. Whereas a NAT instance is launched from an Amazon Linux AMI configured for NAT, the configuration is required to optimize the performance. A NAT gateway can scale up to 45 gigabits per second. Whereas the bandwidth of the NAT instance depends on the bandwidth of the instance type. NAT gateway provides a uniform offering in terms of type and size with built-in elasticity. You don't need to choose instance type or size for NAT gateway. When you create a NAT instance, you need to choose a suitable instance type and size, according to your predicted workload. To use NAT gateway, you need to associate an elastic IP address with the NAT gateway at its creation. You can use an elastic IP address or a public IP address with a NAT instance. You can change the public IP address at any time, by associating a new elastic IP address with the instance. NAT gateway doesn't support security groups. You cannot associate security groups with a NAT gateway. However, you can associate security groups with your resources behind the NAT gateway, to control inbound and outbound traffic. You can associate security groups with NAT instances, and the resources behind NAT instances, to control inbound and outbound traffic. Both NAT Gateway and NAT instances support Network ACL. You can use a Network ACL to control the traffic to and from the subnet, in which your NAT Gateway or NAT instances reside. You can use VPC flow logs to capture traffic to or from the NAT Gateway or NAT instances. A NAT instance can also be used as a bastion host. You need to update your NAT instance's security group rules to allow inbound and outbound ICMP traffic, and allow outbound SSH traffic, and configure SSH agent forwarding to access instances in your private subnet. However, you cannot use a NAT gateway as a bastion host. AWS recommends NAT gateways, as they provide better availability and bandwidth over NAT instances. In this episode, we've learned NAT gateway and NAT instances. NAT devices enable instances in a private subnet to connect to the internet, but prevent the internet from initiating connections with the instances. AWS offers two types of NAT devices, NAT Gateway or NAT instances. NAT Gateway is a highly available NAT service fully managed by AWS. You don't need to perform any maintenance. NAT instances are special EC2 instances, created from Amazon Linux AMIs that are configured to run as a NAT server. You need to perform maintenance, such as installing software updates or operating system patches on the instance. AWS recommends NAT gateways, as they provide better availability and bandwidth over NAT instances. Both NAT gateway and NAT instances are not supported for IPv6 traffic. You should use egress-only internet gateway for IPv6. Okay, that's all for NAT gateway and NAT instances. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudemy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudemy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning.